So my little Arduino based PWM charge controller has been working really well for the last two weeks as you can see battery is nice and fully charged 12.7 volts uh, the sun has gone down now there won't be doing it won't be doing any more pull switch modulation or at least it'll be trying at full tilt I guess and I've put it inside this little case just to keep it out of the way there's the solar panels coming in and out to the battery below I've also replaced these wires uh, for something um, a bit more sensible than domestic extension wire. I've been wondering if I can adapt this design. Um, the soldering was quite tricky being so close together in such a small scale but also I have a caravan which in the summer months has a solar panel in the roof light uh, to keep the leisure battery in the caravan topped up and I was wondering if we could redesign that circuit board uh, make it a little bit easier and also use a few less components. So looking again at the original design by Julian Eilert, um, I was wondering basically whether I could get rid of this section here, which is the power supply for uh, the microcontroller he was using, the, the PIC microcontroller, um, but Arduinos have them on board so I could potentially get rid of all this whole section here and use the onboard uh, voltage regulator on the Arduino but pretty much everything else is is already fairly minimalized so this is my new version using a piece of perf board um, the Arduino will sit here so that some components will sit underneath this will be on header pins so that I can um, so it's raised up above those diodes and that sort of thing um, I will share this image if it all works um, and I think I've managed to completely copy the circuit uh, on this piece of board but it's going to be larger um, it's going to be easier to solder um, I've also added an additional LED here which is completely optional but in the sketch that Julian um, posted on github uh, he was using pin 13, the, the LED already attached to pin 13, to show pull switch modulation. And uh, digital pin 13 isn't a PWM pin, so that won't work. So I've done it on another pin off the top of my head. I can't remember, is it? Uh, 3.5? Uh, no, is that a PWM pin? I can't remember. The only other thing I've done here is I've also showed which way round these transistors, the uh, 3904 and the 3906s, which way they should actually, um, from the top, which way they should be on the uh, on the board here. Uh, this uh, software package which I used, which is called DIY Layout Creator from DIYLC.org, which is a free program, um, I couldn't make it obvious to anybody who's looking at my uh, diagram which way the transistors should be facing. So I've done that on the side. Bit of a cheat. So, I think I've got all my bits. The soldering iron's warming up. Let's crack on. It's definitely always worth having one of these little breadboards available when you're uh, soldering on pin headers. It makes it loads easier. Also much easier to uh, solder in the socket, the header sockets as well, if you plug them in. So, I messed it up already. Put the pin heads at the top and I need that space. So I'm desoldering. Actually that was good practice because I think that's the best bit of desoldering I've ever done. Thought I'd best trim this board down before I uh, get too far. I forgot at the start. Now 
now to uh, solder the MOSFET. So I think I've got all the components soldered in, in the right way this time. Um, so uh, the large resistors, the three transistors, the MOSFET, that diode, um, the charge pump capacitors and diodes. Uh, the only thing I need left to do is the positive and negative rails at the top and bottom and then some bits of wire. Now I'm nearly finished. So, as you'll remember at the start, I said that this charge controller was going to go in my caravan while it was in storage, attached to a 20 watt monocrystalline panel in the roof light during the summer months. So as an extra precaution on this particular charge controller, I'm going to add one of these inline fuses. So that if anything does go wrong, when I'm not there, this should pop. Okay, so it's done. 2.1mm connectors on the end and the completed circuit board. Just need to plug that in. Now, do I dare test it? So it's not easy getting everything in um, on my workbench, but uh, this is my uh, digital voltmeter here. Um, I've set it to milliamps, so currently this is pulling uh, 22 uh, and a bit milliamps um, from the battery which of course it's meant to be charging on the right hand side is my new little toy it's a JYE Tech uh, DSO the 112 touchy feely uh, digital storage oscilloscope um, hopefully we're going to see the pulse width on this when I turn on my simulated solar panel here which is my DC to DC converter which is set to 17 and a half amps um, sorry, 17.5 volts, 1 amp. Okay, so let's turn it on. And you can see the LED on the charge controller. Reduces that pulse width. There's the pulse width on the DSO. So what's that, about 50% space ratio. There we are, we can see it a bit clearer. And half a millisecond, so if I turn, oops, cancel, still learning how to use this. Cancel that, sorry, menu, show frequency. That's currently running, it says, at 490 hertz. Um, on the PWM pin. So as you can see, if I turn a load on, on the battery hopefully that pulse width will increase as the battery voltage drops you can see we've got uh, 560 70 milliamps going into the battery that pulse width has increased and the LED uh, is off more because it's an inverse of the pulse width I turn that load off on the battery the pulse width should decrease as the battery charges back up to a decent level. Although, to be honest, I think that battery's probably only about 12.7, 12.8 volts anyway. The sun went down a little while ago. Covering half an amp, and this is... It says it's delivering... Oh, I've turned it off. Idiot. There we go. 17.5 volts, 1 amp, well I'm pleased, this new design seems to work, um, I'm delivering power to my battery, um, I'll have to monitor it a bit longer and, and see what happens. But uh, hopefully that's a worthwhile little project. If you did enjoy this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, um, share, like and that sort of thing. See you next time.